Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am Parthesh Mankodi from GS Patel College of Engineering and Technology. I am working with the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering next to my next teammate. Myself Rishikesh Bhavasa from Sankar Sivagila College of Kani Engineering Kani uh, from Electronics and Communication in, uh, uh, Engineering Department. I am Mahavish Jaiswal, working as an assistant professor in SVBAT Gandhi for last four years. Hi, good evening friends. Myself, Shah Pratik. I belong to the Electronics and Communication Engineering Department uh, at Aminaj College of Engineering and Technology. Uh, good evening friends. Uh, we have designed Empathize Canvas on uh, attendance process. Before, before going to Canvas, this uh, attendance process, we have uh, we have think about so many things like uh, noise cancellation, then uh, object detection, how to save the powers, then uh, how, how can we manage this attendance process. After thinking this, uh, uh, this uh, all modules, we have decided this uh, attendance process. In this, in this attendance process, there are a number of segments, for example, users, stakeholders, activities, then uh, storyboarding. In storyboarding, we have written two happy stories and two sad stories. So let me start with this user. So who can use this attendance system or who can use this attendance process? Uh, for example, if we consider the technical institute or, or universities, then uh, students, faculty members, right, uh, trustees, they can use this attendance process. If we consider the uh, industries, then uh, employees can use this attendance process. If we consider the uh, railway stations, then uh, the, uh, we can say police police can use this attendance process. So there are various st stages or various places where we can use this attendance process. Now, after this uh, after the user, we can uh, uh, list out the stakeholders. Who, uh, stakeholder means what? The person or institute which directly or uh, uh, directly or indirectly related with this uh, with this system or with this design. Uh, so at in, st in stakeholder, we have discussed, list out these uh, corporate officers. Uh, who, uh, who can purchase this system and uh, keep the records of their employees. Uh, then uh, we can also, uh, we, we have also listed the hotels, and then NGOs, factory outlet, etc. And then after, what kind of activities are related with this process? What kind of activities are related with the attendance process? For example, why we are keeping the attendance? Or why, why we are keeping the records? So to monitor the person or to monitor the user. So according to the attendance process, we have list, list out some activities. For example, active time monitoring, uh, at which time person uh, log in the institute or the factory and at which time he, he goes the outside, right? So to monitor the person, uh, we can use this attendance process. One more important thing regarding this attendance process is the convenient record. Based on this record, we can evaluate any person uh, or we can evaluate any user. So there are so many activities regarding this attendance process. Uh, active time monitoring, counseling of users, tracking history of uh, any user, then uh, evaluation of user, transport management, uniform shift management. We have seen in uh, pharmaceutical there are various shifts are going on. For, uh, first shift, second shift, general shift, or night shift. To manage this uh, shifts in uniform uh, in uniformity, uniformity we can use this attendance process. Based on this users, stakeholders, and activities, we can write uh, two uh, happy stories and two sad stories. Right. Uh, let me give the conclusion of this each stories. For example, first story is the happy story. Then this happy story we have considered that uh, one girl is there who is who is going uh, who is going to deliver his uh, her first lecture uh, in the class of 100 students. So uh, due to this attendance system, she found that uh, one person is already absent and his or her friend is uh, his or her friend is giving his proxy attendance. Right. So. By using this attendance process, uh, she found that this is the wrong, and uh, uh, ultimately uh, the girl found the uh, proxy students. Right. So this is a happy story regarding the first. Similarly, one more story is written according to the employee. Uh, employee thought employee thought that uh, he, uh, the officer. Uh, never maintain the records or never uh, never search about uh, his record and uh, over. Uh, and after performing his, his work, he is, he is demolarized. So after after some times or at the end of the year, uh, he he, uh, he was evaluated and he will got the bonus, right? So this is happy story regarding the employees. Now next part will be explained by.
Okay, myself Rishikesh Bhavsa from Sankar Siva Gila College. I'm from ECT department. Uh, regarding to my uh, previous friend that started with the emphasized uh, canvas, the second canvas is the idealization canvas, which will be are using in the ideation portion. Where, how, what are the ideas associated with the previous canvas that we are having? So whatever the uh, writing at the users and the, uh, the stakeholders, we have to combine to the first topic is the peoples. So so many peoples have written here, like guests, teachers, students, which will associate with the attendance portion. The forest has asked uh, officers, airport managers, commuters, daily commuters will be there. Okay. So these are the first topic as a peoples that can be accommodated with the users and the stakeholders. I can accommodate into the peoples itself. The second portion is the activities. This activity is basically uh, related to the particular person that we have written here. Okay. So we have some of the activities that we have written here, like our trainings, cash, cash handling, fees payment for the students, tracing records, e-commerce reading. Okay. These are the some of the, uh, the some of the activities that we are related to the particular uh, people or the person that we associate with the this ship. And these two basically we combine this particular particular people and the activities at what situation and what context and what location it will be done. Like that, we have some locations and then some of the context here. Some of the like a students is reading at the classroom. So we can connect it here. Students is reading with the classroom. It can be a simple uh, connected with the two, three points. Some of the like libraries are also there. Some of the like website is also there. So these are the locations we have to write. Okay. So these are the particular locations. As now, by using three combinations, we need some uh, equipments or we need some uh, technology which will be used for used by this particular persons or peoples. Like we are uh, for easy guys that uh, we have to write uh, some technical terms. Okay. So we have write something like a barcode, a face detector, like a, bi a biometric fi uh, finger, uh, fingerprint sitter, and motion detectors. So they are having uh, integrated chips here. We have some telegrams, we have some GPS, blood. So these are the these are the equipments or these are the electronic devices that we can use by the attendance process. And we can use in a, as a module. Okay. So some of the combinations I have prepared here by using this idealization, I can make some of the ideations here. So please focus it, okay. So we have some like a trustee plus a recreations plus NGO. Similarly, if we are saying a simple thing like commuters plus cash handlers plus a library. So these are the process, uh, these, are, these are the uh, activities we can, uh, we can shut off from the particular ideation pro canvases. So these are the best way to make uh, some ideas from come up from the second canvases. And further, we are taking a next canvas that is basically a, a product. Okay. Uh, see, in front of you people, there is one canvas, right? The name of the canvas is product development canvas. In the, we have already seen two first canvases. First canvas was required to create the empathy, to understand your user, to create some of the stories, right? And after getting emotion based or say feeling based requirement related to the product, we are going for the different ideas in the second canvas. Having different combinations of people, activity, situation and the problem solutions. Now we are going for the third canvas that is known as product development canvas. More or less, the motive of this canvas is to get the product level development. But here in this canvas, we have made it for the reference purposes, right? So considering the different content of this canvas, let me just introduce them first. The first is the purpose, people, then what will be the product experience once it is designed, what will be the functions of the product, product features, what are the components of your product, uh, customer revalidation, and whether it is required to be rejected, whether it is required to be redesigned, or we can say retained as it is, right? So let me go through the whatever as I told you, reference level, uh, we can say the some of the, uh, we can say sticky notes we have attached on this canvas. Let me go through this some of as a reference, right? 
So, as I told you, the main motive is to deal with the, in general, we can say the attendance process. Now, where we can address the attendance, or we can say where our product can be utilized for which purpose. So, the main or the basic purpose is to take the attendance. Along with that, we may have the presence or we can say the football count of the visitors at any places or number of persons, those who are coming, right? We may segregate the data, we may identify, we may create the database, we may do the analysis of it and after that we can do the tracking of the different objects or we can say in general the visitors or persons, right? Who can use it? Who are the key customers that will come into this particular category that is people, right? So if you see, there are we can say the various segmentations of the people. We can deal with shopkeepers, mall and retail outlets, users, franchisee operator, educational institutions, and we can say the officers which are there in the uh, offices, different offices, different departments in general, right? As I told you, this is the reference part. More or less, we need to focus on either of each department level officer or we can say each commuter, then we need to focus on only commuter itself. Then we can say we can go for the product level design, right? Now, the third caption is, we can say the product experience. Now, in this caption, we have to write down what will be the feelings once the user is going to use your product. Ideally, if you are designing a fruitful product, then for the attendance purpose, you should have the robustness, you should have the convenient handling. At the end, you should have the satisfaction that I am having the, the robust database which is utilized for maybe any of the purposes, right? It should be user friendly, simple, confident, enjoyable. We can say we should have the eagerness to use our product, right? Then different functions. What are the functions your product is having, right? For the attendance process, it should have the function to take the attendance, Decision making to identify the person, statistical and graphical analysis, database management system, and ultimately you can add one more feature which is known as function. With one more function that is known as safety, right? Different product features are, we can say, uh, denoted here. What are the product features it should have? It should have the low cost product, we can say different softwares should be operated, open source softwares, it should be programmable security, graphical user interface it should have, we may add touch screen, light in weight, then we can say network connectivity it should have, certain different we can say the features are denoted here. Right? Next is the, what are the key components it should utilize when you are going for the product development. Right? As such we have written in general, so all the general components which can be utilized for any product which is related with the attendance process we have written most of the components here, right? If you take the reference, we can say we can use the camera, we can have the speakers, we can have the memories, then alarm unit, RFID tag, then we can say the different sensors along with the LED, and we can say the microprocessor units to have the programmable, uh, we can say the process. Next is the customer revalidation. Now, in this chart or in this canvas, you are dealing with the product development ideas which you have already dealt in the second canvas. So once you are going to develop this product as a customer, what are the requirements of the customer, what they will feel once the product is designed, right? So those kind of revalidation process or a feature set which is required from the customer end that we should write down in this particular tag, right? For the example, we can say what will be the look and size of the product whether it will be a cost effective, whether you are going to make it portable or whether you have to fix it somewhere, right? These are somewhere uh, some of the revalidation features. And at the end, you have to write down whether you would like to retain the product, whether you would like to modify the design of your product or we can say you would like to reject the entire product. Be because if it is totally fail, then the simple solution is you reject the product, right? Here we have retained, you would like to retain our product and we may have certain modifications at the later stage depending upon the requirement because this canvas is focusing more or less on various 
or we can say versatile product development level which deals with attendance process. That's it. Thank you. Okay, so students, as my friends has told you, these three canvases, as a third semester student, what we expect from you. So I will be summarizing this one product development. So what is the first thing I need to do with the product? I need some customers. So what I need, where I will sell my product, who will be my customers. So first, I will be defining my users or the stakeholders. These are the main focus of your first canvas. And why I am defining this? Because I have to be connected with my customer. If I am not connected with my customer, how who will be getting on the my, my products? Like suppose you buy an Apple iPad or iPhone. Okay, why you buy this? Because you are connected, you feel the connection with this. So that happy story and sad story, you will be writing the product connection with your customer. So that is the empathy canvas, first canvas. And coming on to the second one, second one is basically same thing we have taken from the user and stakeholders. We have combined them as a people who will be using my product. And these are the activities I will be doing in the current situation. So these are the two new things. In the first canvas, there was less activity. So from customer, now I am shifting my focus to the activities or basically you can say the market where my product will be used and how it will be used. Okay? So this is basically a market survey kind of thing. What users will be, activity he will be doing, at which place he is doing, in which scenario he will be doing that activities that will be in the context, at what time. Because in the daytime the activity would be different, at the night time the activity would be different. So there is the changing of the context. So and this is the proposed props or the technology you will be using for this market. So first canvas, we define our customers and the connection with them. In the second canvas, we define our market, where I will be using my product, in which kind of activities, and by how and by which means I will be using this product. And in the last third canvas, we will be going to the actual product development canvas. That is the third canvas you have to do. In this, again, we have summarized, we will be taking one purpose. Purpose means, the starting for which thing I am defining my product, the connection with the customer. And then the people, these are my customers and the market I have defined already. And these are the selected people now. Selected purpose and selected people from that market survey in the part two. Now in the part three, I will be going with this four things, product experience, product function, product features and components. So what these are defining? how the product will be experienced by the user because until now I am not defining the product will be used by this. Product function. Product function means how the function uh, product will be used by the user. Product features means what thing I will be needing. Suppose you have taken a phone. I have a feature like a camera, 8 megapixel camera. What it can do function, it can take the video, it can take the audio. So this is a slight difference between the function and the features and the component I will be using. Then after doing this product validation by the customer, because I am not, uh, as a third semester student, we do not expect you to create a product. This is just conceptualization of a product that will be in the market used by certain customers. So I need, from customer point of view, I will be hypothesizing my revalidation means how the customer will be, what are the questions in the mind of customers that will be using my product. And depending on that questions, I have to redesign or retain my product. So this is the overall brief summary of the three canvas sheets you have to do as a third semester students. Thank you. Best of luck.